Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Lindsay Charson, where I, Lindsay, have set out on an adventure to push myself out of my comfort zone and try some new things. And can you believe it? This has been a year in the making. March 17th, St. Patrick's Day, was officially the one year mark of my channel. This journey has been one of the things that I felt like I've been able to stick with, even though it might not have been consistent all the time, but it's the one thing that I continuously wanted to work on and wanted to make better and um, it's been a really interesting experience. Trying different things the past year on YouTube has been really interesting. I, at some points, I found myself um, feeling very anxious about trying stuff, which is pretty normal, but then when I sort of checked in with myself, I was able to realize that it was because sometimes I was very focused on the numbers. I wanted people to see what I was doing and I kind of lost track sometimes that this channel was for me and that it was supposed to be almost like an online diary or journal that I can document the things that I've tried to look back and, and, and have proof of myself doing these things. So when I'm down on myself, I can literally open a video and say like, but look, you did this and, and you were able to accomplish that and, and you've been fine. So you can do these things. It's almost like you have to, this, this, this like little project that I've done this past year has been like a chance for almost me to be my own mentor, if that makes any sense. At the end of the day, you know, it, it's, it's me and it's my responsibility to make sure that I'm getting the most out of my life and, and achieving who I want to be and, and what I want to be in this world. And it's been really nice to be able to have a platform to discuss it. I can't tell you how honored I am and how many conversations I've had with people who've uh, mentioned they've watched my videos or, um, you know, they put them on while they're falling asleep or they put it on as background noise every single time someone tells me, I honestly am so thankful. I can't believe that what I'm doing is worth someone's um, time to, to watch. And if anything, I just hope it started a bit of a conversation of, of mental health and taking care of yourself and how important it is and how it's it's so not selfish to, to want those things for yourself. When I, when I think about like who who I want to be is someone who inspires others and someone who um, can make a change in this world. And when, when I hear about other people trying things or when I hear people have watched my videos, it means the world to me. Honestly, I don't know how, how I would be able to ever describe it, but it's a feeling of of pride, I guess is the best way to put it. It's been a journey. I've been able to uh, put out over 20 videos in the past year. And what's been really exciting is that this process or this experience hasn't wanted me, hasn't made me feel like I wanna stop. If anything, I wanna continue. And I've been working on some ideas and some different things and different projects to, to take this channel in new directions. Something to look forward to is I will be doing a sort of the ABCs of trying and what I thought of this series will be I'm hopefully going to try and do it uh, weekly if not bi-monthly trying something that starts in a particular letter of the alphabet so we're going to start with A go down to Z or Z for my American friends out there um, and each week I will try something corresponding to that letter. I'm hoping that will be something a little bit interesting, a little bit exciting for people. Hopefully I'm gonna try a lot of new things. Anyway, so I thought today it'd be kind of nice. I haven't, to be honest, I think most of these videos I uploaded, I might watch once or twice as, uh, as it's uploaded and it's finished. And then I very rarely go back and watch them. So I've got a couple of the videos this uh, today to take a look through and I'm gonna kind of do like a reaction video. I'm gonna watch them with you. You're gonna be able to rewatch the, the clips as well. And, uh, I'll, I'll just be able to maybe give you some insight about like the process or what was going on or the follow-up from that So without further ado, we will go into the first clip. So the first clip here, like I said uh, March 17th 2017 was my very first video and in, it was titled Lindsay tries YouTube and this was something this was an idea over Christmas 
Um, so just a, pre a couple months previous, I had been thinking a lot about what I wanted to do with my life. You know, I had been doing uh, well for years, but it just felt like nothing was ever changing. You know, I had been taking medication for my anxiety and my depression. I had been seeking therapy, but it just felt like I needed more. And the more I kept, you know, trying new things, the more I realized that it actually was working for me. It was working for me to be able to push myself out of that comfort zone and finally try something new and then to be to be able to develop an opinion on it instead of you know being so incredibly fearful or or terrified of something without even ever doing it and that used to just stop me i used to just stop at that at that um stage of being terrified and and now i've been able to push myself little by little there's so much more that i want to do and i want to interact more with people i want to be a part of their journey when they're trying things. I would love for someone to teach me new skills. So that's what I'm really hoping for in the future. But let's start it off with my very first video. I had, uh, I use a Canon T5 Rebel. I got it for Christmas a few years ago and I love taking uh, photography. So that was the first camera that I had. And so I used that for the particular video. And I quickly learned how heavy DSLR cameras are, as well as mine didn't have the screen flip. So it took a lot of sort of guessing of where things could be. And uh, so let's watch the first clip. No music. Hey everyone, I didn't welcome to, do to my yet. channel, Lindsay Tries It, where I, Lindsay, am gonna be trying out some different stuff. You see this girl? Look at that blonde hair. I need my hair lighter again. Um, I wanted to create a YouTube channel because I feel like I kind of put myself in a routine where I'm doing the same things all the time. Um, I'm never pushing myself outside my comfort zone. And then all of a sudden it kind of feels like you get stuck and um, constantly doing the safe, same, or safe thing. And you know, it gets kind of annoying when um, you start to develop almost fears of doing things outside of your norm because this is what you're so used to. So I told myself, this year was the year I'm going to try some new stuff. I'm going to push myself. I'm going to push those boundaries. And the first part of this Lindsay Tries It um, will be Lindsay Tries YouTube. I have, I've never made videos before. Um, I've never edited videos before, which I'm sure you, you may see um, the evidence of that when I put these videos up. But more than anything, I really am hoping that this will be a platform for me to connect with people, people who have similar um, situations like myself where, you know, you're kind of stuck in this rut, you are looking for something new and different to kind of spice up your life, um, and I want to push the boundaries and really try some new and different things. So I'm hoping this channel will be um, a really great platform for me to try, you know, different places in my community. Um, different restaurants or relaxation techniques or coping methods or foods or drinks or I don't know kind of it's kind of endless and that's what I really wanted was I wanted a channel where I felt like you know the possibilities would be endless that I wouldn't be just pigeonholed into sort of one category so that leads me to this journey that I'm going to start which is Lindsay tries it I, Lindsay, trying different things, um, and the first one is YouTube, so I hope you want to continue this journey with me, I hope you are interested, um, and I'm really hoping that maybe what I can do or what I try maybe will help you get out and try something new and different as well. So I hope you stick with me, um, I'm going to try a whole bunch of stuff, well, you know, sometimes I'll like it, sometimes I won't like it, and we'll kind of go from there, so if you're interested, Please keep watching and uh, we'll see where this journey takes us. All right. <clears throat> Is this a cool pose? I don't know. Maybe, like, should I have done my hair for the first one? I, I was so know. nervous I about what things. I was supposed to be doing. Maybe it's my winning personality that will win people over. Doesn't it? Hey, everyone. My name, oh no. Oh my god, Moose, save this video. Moose is still the star of the show, wow. 
Uh, to be honest, that video was actually a little bit better than I remember it being. Um, your girl didn't do too bad editing, uh, may I say so myself. That actually wasn't as, as terrible. I feel uh, a lot of the sentiments that I said last year are still very much true. And it's frustrating because uh, I think at, at some point I believed that this journey would have like a beginning and an end. And it's very clear that a year later that there isn't necessarily um, an end point to this journey. And unfortunately, I think for a lot of people who've experienced any type of mental illness, it, it becomes very, very well known that these sort of things don't just disappear overnight and they take a long time and a lot of effort and a lot, a lot, a lot of work. And, uh, and sometimes it can seem a little bit daunting to know that I'm going to work and work and work and do the best that I can. And yet some days I still might feel really sad or I might feel really anxious. You know, am I having one of those days every couple of weeks or am I having that day every single day? And you have to be open to how you define success. Is success, like I said, the absence of any mental health um, symptoms? Or is success you knowing what you what cards you know you are holding in your hand and how you're gonna play them smart and for the best of you your of and for the best of yourself. So I think it's really important to know that that uh, at some point in this journey you have to realize that it's not just gonna start and stop and 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 that be it. It's gonna be something that is very much a part of you and a part of your life. However, I've always thought as terrible as some of these situations or experiences that that myself or others have been in before it really 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 gives you an opportunity for some insight and to be able to share that experience or to share that empathy with others who are in similar situations and having and having people who are on your team like that or who who understand that it's not just about being better and not being better it, it it's a journey and it, these things take a long time and how you want to work on it is completely up to you so I'm excited. I'm excited. I, uh, it's interesting to see what I originally wanted out of this channel and sort of where I sit today and how, uh, how that, if it still works or if it's still what I want. And it is, it is still what I want from, for myself and for this channel. So we're going to jump over to, uh, one of the most popular videos on my channel and it was Lindsay tries making cleavage. And I, I really and truly believe it's because of that keyword cleavage in there that, uh, it got so many hits. <laughs> so um, little did everyone know, you were definitely not seeing any cleavage from, from this young lady. Here we go. Let's watch Lindsay Makes Cleavage. I knew how to do music. I love this song. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. It does look like a butterfly. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Lindsay tries it where I, Lindsay, have set it on this adventure this year to... I feel like I see terror in my eyes because body stuff has always been a big hot issue for me and I think I was super super nervous about how I would take this. I to try new things and get out of my comfort zone. I've been seeing a lot of these videos on YouTube. A little bit of a tan on my forehead. I can see it on my bum. bra and like you put it on either side and then you just pull this little thing in the middle and magically you have like cleavage and people are always smiling in the commercials or the videos and like having so much fun. Today I was walking around the mall and I went into one of those as seen on TV, uh, as seen on. This is a long one. Let's skip ahead a little bit. There it is. So funny, my, uh, my partner Kyle received the notification for this video before it came out and he called me and he was just like, you know, I understand it's your channel, but, and you know what, I'm trying to tell myself it's okay what you want to put out there because when he saw the title, he thought there might be some cleavage shots or something, but uh, we got some shoulder. That's about all I'll give you. Your, your novelty bits might, might push out to the, to the armpit. I don't know. And, and I just, I, I, I just wonder if this will fit. So let's see. Okay. So there I am. I'm trying to like attempt to put it on. Oh, I think I actually, oh yeah, I do. I do get it on there for a second. Then I put my t-shirt back on. More comfortable than having nothing, but the cup size was just too small for my chest. Um, I'm definitely having like some spillage out here by the chicken wings. And uh, I don't like, like overflowing I, I, here, I can tell overflowing the shirt. here. I don't know if someone else 
could tell. Uh, you know, like, not having, having nothing. The, the, a little tidbit, a little mole there. I got it removed this year. Wow. Things You're have bad. changed. Oh, I, can get, I can get used to that part about it. My final verdict is I could see how someone or others do like it. I think for myself personally. Um, yeah, it wasn't for me. Maybe. So that was one of my most popular ones. Like I said, I think it's because of the keyword cleavage in there. So suckers, you didn't get any of that if that's what you came for. Ooh, this was another really popular video of mine and this was the makeup episode. And I had went out and purchased all these different types of makeup and fake eyelashes. And I remember um, it looked really good in the video looking back at it, but in person I felt it looked terrible. It was very like dry and cakey, although I do have a lot of dry and red skin right around here. So I found it very cakey again. It looked beautiful on the video, I think, because it was just like a sort of a very natural finish. But in person it was just like, not so good. But. Did I put music? Mm, no music on this one either. Wasn't sure yet. And I love a good preset iMovie title. <laughs> I would like to, that's something I'd also like to do is kind of make like a quick little um, intro that I put out on my video so I don't have to keep using these because Welcome back to my channel. now Lindsay I don't like it. it. Welcome back to my channel. Lindsay tries it. That one was different. I oh, I need to record this again. Screen record. Have set out on this adventure to try and push myself um, to get out of that comfort zone. This, I took some time. time. I wasn't sure what I, I was saying at the beginning. Some of my fears and anxieties. So, I'd be stuck to pretty much, you know, can't even wear makeup. Makeup doesn't even help. Ooh, I'm contouring. So, like, I, I don't know, do these things expire? Um... Oh, that's me. Yeah, I also didn't really use a great camera angle. I, for some, for a lot of it, you can't even see my face, which is, sorry. There I am doing my eyebrows. I still don't really wear much. Actually, recently, if you follow my Instagram story, and if you don't, you can follow me at, at Lindsay Tries It. I uh, got an eyelash lift and tint, so I haven't even been wearing mascara these past couple weeks. Ooh, there I am putting the fake eyelashes on. Yeah, like that lips, that lipstick color looks great. In person, did not look so nice. I gave it to a friend actually because it looked better on her. I thought it would. It definitely took more time than my usual routine, but my usual routine consists of like one or two steps. After doing this, my verdict is I kind of like it. It's it's definitely different. I don't think I could wear it. My hair's still so blonde in these. I haven't got it dyed I since now September. Know, like that, I have some sort of skill set or that it doesn't look terrible. The eyelashes were pretty, are pretty fun. I think it's the, the lip color that's throwing me off a little bit. I don't hate it. And you know, next time, um, maybe I'm going out or there's a special event going on. I think I'm gonna, you know, give this another shot and try. It definitely wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. I mean, if I made a mistake, you know, you get a Q-tip, you get a wipe or whatever and, and clean it up. Big so that, that wraps up today's lip. So funny. Wow. I got a lot of comments on that, on the makeup one too. Like even a lot of friends and family outside of YouTube said, oh my gosh, it looked so nice on you, which was such a compliment because I really don't feel like my skills are that advanced, but I watch a lot of beauty makeup videos. Uh, so maybe I picked up some skills there. And finally, just sort of wrapping up on some of the videos that I've done this year. There, there was a few that definitely uh, took time and work. Those videos were the juggling videos. That was the not hitting snooze video. Those videos took a couple days to record and uh, because each day had to come with some practice or doing the activity like not hitting snooze. And those ones were the most difficult because I thought, how easy is it to make a video and say I try something for 15 minutes? But when you actually have to try something and keep up or keep track of how things are going, it takes a lot of energy and work. So that was real. those two were in particular were, were quite difficult for me. I really loved the cooking one. I loved making the videos with my um, family and friends, like going to Montreal to see Alex and having Brooke come over and make the slime with me. Those videos were the most fun. I think one of the scariest ones that I ever did was definitely the singing and it's because 
for years I've I've always enjoyed music and rhythm and, and stuff like that and like I sing and I think I was decent but then um, to put it out on on a platform like this where lots of people can see it and you know it's definitely not the the best singing but it, it was one that made me so anxious to upload and then I did it and that was so helpful at that time uh, in my life I was in a spot where I was starting to feel very like I don't want to do anything I just want to I just want to sit I'm gonna mope I hate everything I hate what's going on and I felt like okay if you're gonna be so negative then we're gonna do something hardcore and really push you out of it so the singing was super uncomfortable for me but I'm glad I did it I think I'd probably like to redo it someday and sing some new songs I don't know we'll see but anyway thank you so much for watching I can't believe it's been a year it's been a year it's been insane I've had so much fun I've been able to update some equipment I've been able to get you know the necessary tools and equipment to make some videos a little bit more exciting a little bit more interesting again thank you so much for watching this has been an incredible journey and I'm going to continue it I hope you come with me and uh, stay tuned so you can see what I get up to um, next time. Oh.